Hi guys, uh, on my last video you heard like a lot of distortion and noise, I don't know if that's still happening now, but when that was happening, my grandma was talking to this girl and this guy and he was yelling and all this other, and like my cousins were here and stuff, and the TV was on and people were playing games in here, and that's all gone right now, just the washing machine's on and that's pretty much it, it's happening in my room. Alright, now... I'm gonna sh do two things today. Today I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna continue my um, my search thing about how to make it. This is the this is the part two of how to get your computer uh, whoops your computer faster. All right. Um, first you wanna go down to your start and yes I, d I get this little thing it's called VI start one step so it's gonna look like a Vista start see how it's like inside and stuff um you go and then you click run and you type in ms config that's spelled m s c o n f i g see it looks like that and then okay And this will come up. Now, this is a system configuration utility. This is your system runtime. Not, well, not like it's, this is what your system runs on a daily basis. Even when you're not on, it's still running it. There's the startup, which everything in here is starts up at the beginning of when you like restart your computer or turn it off this is all the stuff that turns on the more stuff that's unchecked the faster the more the s their speed increases all this stuff here is allowed all this other stuff sometimes some of the stuff here I actually knew I had to keep it on all the other stuff I don't want to bother so some of this stuff I kept but all this stuff right here I wanted really wanted to take off so that's all on startup just uncheck some boxes don't in some in yeah in services this is the stuff that you really don't want to take off there's only one that you want to really take off and the only one that you can take off and you actually should all this other stuff you shouldn't take off this is the stuff that runs all the time this one you can take off um error reporting service you can take that off that's fine and all this other stuff I would stay out of. Then press OK. And I didn't really do anything. Uh, and then click exit without restart when you do that. Then go to run again. And then I think I did this last time. Wait, let me see if I did. Yeah, I did this last time. That's pretty much it there. And, um,. You can also do a system restore point if you don't think that what you did was perfect. Then you go to your all programs, find accessories, system tools, and then system restore. And it should come out in a little bit right here, little window. Oh, then you do um, create one next put in a name for it I'm gonna call it I don't know um, Mike I don't know and then you click create <laughs> and then that will come up and then you close it that's it then now the second part I was going to tell you is um Firefox. This is the new Firefox and I never really liked Firefox. Um I'm telling you uh, what the frick? I don't want to know what that is. Um <laughs> Wow, that's kind of cool. Um uh Well, at least I do stuff. Okay. Um. When this all hap- What the f- I don't know what that is. It's actually faster. My computer's faster, so I can run a little bit more stuff. 
see how a start menu comes up faster and if I, I'm going to go to a new and then I'm going to go to, let's go to yahoo.com and it loads up a lot faster it's it's just the speed of my computer and yeah it's actually, this is better than a lot of the other stuff I used to use uh, I use Safari still, that's my main, but Safari's getting a little dumb. I don't really, actually Safari's still awesome. I really don't like um, Google Chrome anymore, that my sister and people use this, that's why the only reason I keep it on my computer, is that they use it and I really don't like it. So, it's just that I don't like it. I only use it for some of the um, places that I have on it, that's why I use it sometimes. Alright, well that's pretty much it. So I see you guys later. Post a comment, send me a message, and if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and if you subscribe, you'll see more videos coming out that'll help you. So that's just a little heads up. So um, again, just comment. So see you later.